happy Monday. Hey. It's gonna be a great week. Uh, for lunch today, chicken tenders, a fresh peach, baby carrots, and celery. No, no, honey. Carrots. Go bonzo chickpeas. Oh. Ketchup, milk. Oh chicken look, tenders. Ketchup and milk, guys. Red, acidy food with milk. I to don't go together ketchup. With I don't drink milk tenders. with ketchup. For the record, don't. Yeah, that, I don't. That do that. didn't help you at all. Sorry. Points in the Literally. cafeteria. Literally. <laughs> Points in the cafeteria. Kinder, all houses, first and second. The integrity house. Good job, integrity house. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for pausing for my dance moves. You're welcome. Third and fourth. Every single house. Okay, much improved. And we'll try again for fifth and sixth. Oh man, they had had such a great yeah, week, we solid week. Roll. Yeah, we'll, we'll work hard. We'll work together. Being responsible, right? It's yep. probably about being responsible in there. Yeah, absolutely. Announcement. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> From Mrs. Ellis, the librarian. Uh, recruiting Battle of the Books contestants. Teachers, Battle of the Books is upon us for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. If you would suggest three to four of your students that you know love to read, um, have are outstanding in the classroom and have great attendance. Boys and girls, that does matter. Your attendance matters. You need to be here to learn. Um, if you think that they would be promising contestants or they show you that they really want to be part of Battle of the Books, please set that up with Miss Ellis. Um, we can't wait for Battle of the Books, okay? So teachers, again, please email that to Miss Ellis. Uh, the first meeting she will hold for those students is September 20th, 2023, 3 p.m. in the library. We'll send something out to parents also. Um, on a more serious note, I always get a little emotional on this day. Today is a very significant day in our country's history. Um, we think of history sometimes as very far, like a long time ago. Um, this history is, you guys were not alive yet, but we were. I remember exactly where it was on 9-11. I did uh -huh. And, um... You know, our world changed after 9-11, after and so there were several brave men and women who paid the ultimate price with their life to protect all of us and, and um, the rights that we have. So we'd like to take a moment of silence. Uh, boys and girls, we want you to take this seriously. We want to just have a moment of silence for those who gave their lives, to the family members who lost loved ones. Um, so we're going to start that now. So when I think, when I take a moment of silence, because in life you'll be asked to do that, um, you know, I think about, I think good things about the lives that hopefully they lived. I think about the memories they left with their loved ones. And I think about how grateful I am to have the family I have and the life that I live for people who are courageous, um, who will go out and, and fight when everyone else is running in a different direction. And so we're so grateful to those of you who have parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, um, who, you're, you know, they're, they're police officers, they're firefighters, they're in the Army, Marines, Navy, um, who did I? Our Air Force. My stepmom was in the Air Force, actually. Um, so if you share a family member that is brave like that, we just want you to know how awesome that is, how lucky you are, and how lucky we are. Yes. All right, everyone. Um, so it is a good day for a great day. And we are always respectful. Ready. That's right. We want you to say it with us loud and proud. After I share one more fact, somebody told me that they like to eat ramen noodles with Funyuns mixed in because they were sharing interesting food. Pringles uh, and macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'm still looking forward to hearing those things. Okay. All right, guys. Say it with us loud and proud. This is the way. The Lincoln way. Right.